cost a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, believe me, I have seen a lot of mistakes, you would not say, but at the result, but be honest, uh, Liverpool plays in three teams, yeah. they were not in the strongest, um, so we have not overestimated this yeah. result. And yeah. We have to take care for, but still, I have seen some really good things, and I think what you see, we have a lot of creativity and speed in front, and so what I said, we have potential. We do have potential, Eric. Well, with you in charge anyway. How are we doing, everybody? This is the latest installment of what I've done as a bit of a pre-season series, taking a look into the training, the intensity, the tour, and all the plans and the sessions and the drills. And you all seem to be enjoying it. So I'm going to do another one today. Where I'll do a bit of a deeper dive into what the players' response has been to these training sessions. How are they coping with it? What do they think about it? And we've seen it in the performances, certainly. But it's good to hear and dive into it a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is run through all that in this video. So make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. I'm probably going to do some more of these across the preseason. You seem to be enjoying them. And I like the fact that they're insightful and informed. I think so anyway. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell as well. We're going to be focusing here on this article from Rob Dawson. Not the only part of the article that we're going to be running. To, not the only evidence, I suppose. Stupid damn ESPN website, man. Moving all over the shop. Crap website. Sort your adverts out. Anyway. Going to be running through this article here. We talked about the preseason, the training, and everything happening in between. But let's run through it here and let's talk about it. Because I'll be honest, you know, the first couple of games, there's been a lot of positives. Ten Hag's interview there after the Liverpool game, he's not going to focus purely on the positives. He's not going to focus purely on the, on, on the mistakes that he sees. It's a bit of balance. It's a bit of both. And I'll tell you what, these players, they are getting put to work on this preseason tour. Eric Ten Hag has been so focused on football that there has been little time for anything else. And I'll tell you one thing to say here quickly. The word intensity is used a lot when talking about Eric Ten Hag and what he's doing. But intensity can come through just a severe focus. A sharp focus can create an intensity in the same way that, that, that something being difficult to do is intense. But if you're just so, uh, not narrow-minded is the wrong word, but if you're so focused on what you're doing, it creates an intensity. In the same way you have like a little magnifying glass, hold it over something a bit of sunshine goes through that intensifies the light that, that's what this word intense i think means not only are the, are the, are the training sessions difficult and then there's a lot of them but they're also hyper focused and that's where the intensity is coming from as well it's traditional on these trips for the manager to hold news conferences rob dawson here explained look ten Hag's told the club staff i want to be working on the training session after the game against liverpool he's straight back on the bus baby no well obviously after doing a little bit of the press conference but it's what we've seen and what we've heard so much about from Ten Hag, of Ten Hag, sorry, from his time at Ajax and that intensity. It's, it's the buzzword that's gone through the whole preseason so far and it's only getting justified the more and more you find out about what's going on. Ten Hag's message to his players and the 120 strong, such a big party, big traveling party for the preseason tour. They're here to train and nothing should get in the way of that. And this particular thing, I quite enjoyed. Suggestions that players could be made available for media work have been those sessions. They've been knocked back by Ten Hag. We go down to that bottom one there. An idea was floated to film players on the set of the Australian soap opera Neighbours. Jesus. Anyway, he said no. Absolutely no. Eric Ten Hag. Look, you've, you've, Manchester United have launched their away kit. There's certain things that, of course, the players are going to be doing. As part of their media duties. That's what a preseason tour is. But you'll remember Louis van Gaal complaining about it. You'll remember Jose Mourinho complaining about it. Preseason tours do not help managers prepare their teams for the new season. And with Eric Ten Hag's system requiring so much preparation, he's making sure that these players work hard, hard, hard out on this preseason tour. And the, look, as I say, the results, the performances have shown that that work hasn't been wasted. It's not been pointless work. It's been work and it's creating a difference. Club staff has seen flashes of his lighter side, but the word, the buzzword there, again, intense. His training sessions have been described as the same. Fred walked into an interview with ESPN and if Fred's saying he's tired, then everybody else must be absolutely shagged. Scott McTominay is saying this is one of the most gruelling he's ever experienced. Marcus Rashford Already saying he's fitter than he was last season. How damning is that for how Manchester, how unfit Manchester United players were for last year in the same way as complementing what Ten Hag is doing this year? Already fitter, my word. Ten Hag came to the conclusion this squad would need whipping into shape. 
Well, that, my friend, is the understatement of the century. I'm going to play a little bit of an interview here, a little uh, snippet from Simon Peach's chat with Diogo Delo because he gives a nice little bit of an insight. Looks a bit sad there. <laughs> He's all right. Uh, a little bit of insight into what's going on behind the scenes. It's it's very good. I really like the the dynamic that this shows, uh, not just um, in training but in general. Uh, very very demanding. Very very attention. He pays a lot of attention to details, which is which is good and small details that that can make a difference in a in a long in a yep. long perspective. Um, and and I think we players are are adapting really well to it. Um, and and obviously we, we we want to keep going and we want to to know that it's been it's going to be a long season a different season from 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 pretty much every season that we had this in, in the past few years so we want to yep. we want to build something we want to build a, a team uh, together with players together with staff uh, build something very good uh, inside and between us and then uh, do our job on the pitch and, and win games. And yeah, do your job. Not that many of these players have done over the last few years. But he, again, that's that's a little interview from Diogo Delo. I'm now going to look pull up a couple of quotes here. This is from Luke Shaw. He was asked about working under Eric Ten Hag, how it's gone so far. He goes, yeah, of course. I think he also knows what the team needs and he has his own style. Uh, the players have really taken it on board and they're really enjoying it. Head over to Scott McTominay here. He's got an idea of the way he wants to play and executes it really, really well. It's the same with Mitchell van der Gag and with Steve McLaren. The philosophy and the ideas of the play are clear to see. It's up to us now to really take the message on board and push with everything we've got. And we go over here to see Victor Lindelof. It's been very good. I think the training, I think we've stepped up a lot and it's hard, like it should be in preseason. And he demands a lot, but it's been great. Absolutely great. So yeah, a pleasure. Every single player, I mean, like, oh, it feels like everyone's pulling in the same direction, which you can't say about Manchester United. Well, you really can't say about Manchester United for a long, long time. Everyone seems to be pulling in different directions. So many civil wars we've had inside the dressing room. Everyone's buying into Eric Ten Hag, buying into what he's doing and buying into the hard graft. I mean, that's what preseason is. Because to be uh, fit enough to play in the Premier League, sod knows how fit you've... I mean, I've nowhere near that. Never, never going to be anywhere near that fit. But you have a little summer off. You need to get back to where you were before. And it takes time. But these players are doing it. A bit more detail here from Rob Dawson. Most days on tour have involved double sessions. One in the morning, one in the afternoon. And there's even been training sessions on the mornings before games. With three main overall purposes. Improving that sharp passing, the purposeful movement and the pressure. In, in, involving these players in working under pressure. And there's been lots and lots of good photos from training. I particularly like this one, not because Harry Maguire is just shagged, but just that's what you need to see. You need to see the players in bits. You need to see the players struggling. And, well, you don't need to see the players struggling because next preseason, we shouldn't be really be seeing, I mean, you still probably will see some pictures like that, but this is them getting used to it. This is them taking a car out of the garage, put a different car in the garage, and you go, well, that's a bit different. And that, that's what I've done before. I'm not used to this. And they're not used to it. And I'll be honest, they're just not used to really working hard. And that's what we all... That, that, that's the absolute minimum that any fan of any football club should, if you support Luton, Macclesfield, Manchester United, Real Madrid, the, the absolute minimum you can expect is that the players put in the hard graft. They put in the hard yards. If you lose, well, you lose. But at least he gave everything. And we haven't been able to say that for a while. But at the very least, what we're seeing now is, is a bit of a connection in the preseason training. Everyone's buying into what Eric Ten Hag is demanding of them. There's quite a lot. Now, you already know that we talked about the consequences for mistakes in training. The idea there is to make training more competitive and no one wants the embarrassment of having to do, A, a press-up, but also a really bad press-up. Work on that technique, my friend. Work on that technique, my friend. But we've seen lots and lots of that. That was from pre-season. That was an open training session out in Thailand. And then this one in particular, people were talking about when uh, there was a video of Eric Ten Hag screaming at Jaden Sancho. <laughs> hey, hey! Yeah, just pass. Nice and calm at the end there. But we've seen and heard so much of it. And we're starting to see immediate res responses, immediate reactions, immediate improvements. And it's not something that you're going to have to wait and let it settle for a year and see if there's any differences within the space of a couple of weeks. 
we started to see the differences. I ran through the system that we saw against Liverpool and we saw similarities. A different game against Melbourne going 1-0 down. The high the high line got exposed. That's a mistake that can't happen again. It will happen again, but it can't happen next season. Not against teams like Liverpool and City. But I ran through that. And this video there today, yeah, man, this is... I'm, in, I'm really, really enjoying doing this, this pre-season series. I'm really glad that you are too. So make sure you please do drop a like on the video because I will do more of them. But Ten Hag, it's double hard. It's triple hard for these players. But they're all buying into it. Even if they are sweating, shagged, knackered, everything, they're buying into it. And that's what happens when you change an attitude and approach and you get a man at the top of it that everybody can understand. And they know what he wants. And they know what his demands are. And they also know what they're going to get if they don't listen to him. I'm enjoy I, I enjoyed that article from Rob Dawson. Uh, I'll leave the, the, link to the, script, the link to the full article in the description if you want to read through it as well. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. And no doubt I'll do more of these across preseason if you want me to. Take it easy. Especially if your name's Eric Ten Hag. <laughs>